Hi, I'm Chris Randwell, Global Product Manager for General Electric. And today we're going to talk about the brand new Protometer MMS2 4-in-1 Moisture Meter. The meter itself comes in a variety of different packages and options. You can get it with a hard carry case or a soft pouch. And then you can choose the different options you want. These details are all on our data sheet. The Protometer MMS2 has a very simple user interface. It has a color screen and a D button control pad. This makes it very, very simple for many users to pick up and use straight away. Let's take a closer look at the new Protometer MMS2. I'm going to remove the cap and the first thing you'll notice is that we now have pins on the top of the instrument. This makes it extremely convenient for taking moisture measurements without plugging in accessories. Also in the top of the meter here, you'll see the non-contact surface infrared thermometer and there's a laser pointer for this as well. Turning to the back of the instrument here, you'll see our short quick stick this is a full functioning hygrometer stick and it's short so you don't have to remove it when using the pins. On the back here also you'll see our flat area for our non-invasive moisture measurement. Now let's look at the new Protometer MMS2 in action. The first thing we're going to do is take humidity readings in the room. We can select the humidity function easily from the menu, press the center button and now we'll see our humidity reading for both relative humidity and temperature. The readings coming from this small humidity sensor on the back here. This sensor is removable and replaceable, and you can put in either our quick stick or our hygro stick sensor in here. You can also use the extension lead in here for making measurements in concrete floors. Let's look at the pinless function. This is also called non-invasive. I can simply select it, and now the active sensor is this flat portion at the back of the meter. We can place it against a wall or a floor and get a relative reading. Again, this is a numeric value, plus it has the green, yellow, and red warning symbol at the bottom making full use of our color display. Now I'm going to use the pins that are built into the top of the meter here. You just want to make gentle firm pressure at the surface and look at the reading. Now the reading shown not only numerically but also there's a green, yellow and red warning bar at the bottom. The remote moisture probe can be plugged into the side and this allows you to access hard to reach areas. You can also plug in deep wall probes. These plug into the side of the meter as well and these, are, these allow you to measure moisture at depth or in a cavity of a wall. Now we're going to look at this wooden flooring using the non-invasive function of the moisture meter. We can see here it has a reading of around 150 and dry. Now if this floor was wet, we would see this bar at the bottom here red and a higher reading, in fact over 200. Now we can also use pins in the floor, either the pins on the surface here or commonly used, especially when restoring a floor after flood damage, is to use this hammer electrode. This plugs into the accessory port here and you can drive the pins into the wood taking measurement at different depths. Using the MMS2 on a tile floor means that you can look for moisture below the tile. As you can see the tile looks perfectly good on the surface but often it's the moisture beneath that really causes a problem. This floor is nice and dry, we're getting a reading of 166 and a green bar and the indicator showing dry. The MMS2 can data log readings so you can store an individual reading or leave the meter on site to store readings over a period of time. These readings can be downloaded to a PC and represented graphically or in a data format. One of the problems you often come across in buildings is the potential for condensation. Now the new MMS2 has the capability to measure the surface temperature and the humidity and calculate a surface's proximity to dew point or condensation point. Now in the side here you'll see a second port. This is where you can plug an accessory surface temperature sensor but the MMS2 also has a built-in non-contact infrared surface temperature sensor. Now to turn this on, you just press this button once and twice to get the laser pointer. You can then point it at the piece of wall or floor in question and take a reading. Now the reading will show not only the surface temperature, but also the surface's proximity to dew point or condensation point. The new Protometer MMS2 truly represents the next generation in handheld moisture meters for full building diagnostics. It's a rugged design with a simple interface. Thank you for watching this video, and if you'd like to find out more, please visit our website mms2meter.com.